and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Jamaica and France speak cooperation in tourism. Jamaica Minister of Tourism, Hun. Edmund Bartlett, seen right in the photo, autographs a copy of Tourism Resilience and Recovery for Global Sustainability and Development, Navigating COVID-19 in the Future, for French Ambassador to Jamaica, His Excellency Olivier Guyenbarch, seen center in the photo, during a courtesy call at the Minister's New Kingston offices recently. Looking on is Director of Tourism, Jamaica Tourist Board, Donovan White. The book was edited by Minister Bartlett and Professor Lloyd Waller, Executive Director of the Global Tourism Resilience and Crisis Management Center. During the meeting, they discussed various areas of cooperation between the two nations to accelerate tourism recovery, including strengthening air connectivity, increasing visitor arrivals from France and leveraging a common interest in sustainable tourism. Areas of cooperation discussed. The Jamaica Ministry of Tourism and its agencies are on a mission to enhance and transform Jamaica's tourism product, while ensuring that the benefits which flow from the tourism sector are increased for all Jamaicans. To this end it has implemented policies and strategies that will provide further momentum for tourism as the engine of growth for the Jamaican economy. The ministry remains committed to ensuring that the tourism sector makes the fullest contribution possible to Jamaica's economic development given its tremendous earning potential. At the ministry, they are leading the charge to strengthen the linkages between tourism and other sectors such as agriculture, manufacturing, and entertainment, and in so doing encourage every Jamaican to play their part in improving the country's tourism product, sustaining investment, and modernizing and diversifying the sector to foster growth and job creation for fellow Jamaicans. The ministry sees this as critical to Jamaica's survival and success and has undertaken this process through an inclusive approach, which is driven by the resort boards, through wide-scale consultation. Recognizing that a collaborative effort and a committed partnership between the public and private sectors will be needed to achieve set targets, central to the ministry's plans is maintaining and nurturing its relationship with all key stakeholders. In so doing, it is believed that with the Master Plan for Sustainable Tourism Development as a guide and the National Development Plan, Vision 2030 as a benchmark, the Ministry's goals are achievable for the benefit of all Jamaicans. More news about Jamaica. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.